as stated once the cord exhaust was finished and is driving around we will start in the transmission so here we go this is transmission number one transmission number two is the crv b series transmission that will be the next thing i take apart so for right now this is out of a prelude i believe uh 89 prelude here is the code so this is the one we're going to be taking apart today just to get all the you know the little parts out get what's needed so i can start taking apart that one and install everything into this housing so the first thing i believe these are all 12s um we have to take this off and i believe this one has a c-clip in the bottom take these d10 springs out and i'm just gonna it's been a while since i took one of these apart so i'm just gonna walk it around so i can remember it for myself also the first thing starting with this one i think this is where the c-clip is that holds yep we'll take this one off that's the c-clip you're gonna have to pry open when it's time to take off the case so i'm just loosening this up right now so i'm just gonna go around the perimeter of the case and start taking off all these 12s and then i think these are 14 but these are the d10 springs so i'm gonna do that last So with these are uh, these should all be the same size it's also good to just double check oh yep got everything just put all these in a little container and then we're gonna start with the detent springs which is this and there should be one more on the front side next i'm taking off these tens this is to hold the shifter in place so those are out then after taking those tens out just hit it with a rubber mallet and there you go that's taking off part of the shift mechanism and i don't think i need to take off the rest to get the case off so i'm gonna try to take the case off as it is if not then i'll continue taking off the shifter because so for safe measures i'm taking these out these are the detent springs there's a ball in here inside here so i'm just gonna take it out and don't forget to take this 14 millimeter out for the back of the casing it goes right here so there are these two 14s that you have to also take out and once you take this out you should be able to pop the case up as long as all the bolts on the perimeter are out and those d10 springs are out also and now we just gotta pry it up just double check make sure all the screws are out yep just gotta make sure all the screws are out before you end up cracking the case so i applied a little bit of pressure just to make sure i crack this case open a little bit but you gotta remember it won't come off until you push this c-clip open When you push it open, now when you pry the case up, it'll just pop off. So I just had to apply a little bit of pressure. And now it is off. So you have to finish taking off the shift mechanism. So this is a 12 millimeter. You take this out. Then you can just slide this whole unit out. Then you just try to finagle this thing out. It was inside the unit. So first I took this center section out. And this was on it like that. And I just pulled it out. So now those are the forks. Those are the shift forks, so I should be able to take the case off right now without anything else holding it in place. Okay, so it's dirty. Well, all the dust, but so far the transmission itself looks great. The teeth are all good. Reverse gear. Final drive. And this is just the, uh, I guess the oil transfer inside the unit. So 
I'll we'll just take these tins out. These are all stuff we're going to keep until everything is over with. So once you take this out, then you should be able to take out the reverse gear and the whole gear stacks. Okay, this goes here. Just like putting everything back in a box, putting the screws back where they were. So the main reason I'm doing this for is the final drive, the counter shaft, and the counter shaft bearing. So that's the reason why I'm doing all this extra work. this one off as you see these gears are perfect the only thing I really need from this is the main bearing in the center the final drive and the counter shaft so what I'm going to do is just take everything out put everything up clean them off put that case back on and put this transmission up so at least I have a good you know, all the gears to keep them all safe, so in case if I ever do need them. So now I'm just gonna start taking out the final drive is already out. Well, the whole diff. So now I'm gonna take this out. Oh, I think these are 11s. So it's gotta take it out so I can get this bearing out. Uh, the only way I found to get this out is to heat it up, and then I guess the metal will explain it, and then just tap it out a little bit. So it's coming out. So this is how I'm getting it out. Yeah, I might know a different way, but this is what I found to work. So, it worked. I just heated up from the back and just tapped on this a little bit and it just fell right out. So, that's how I took the bearing out. Still seem to be in good condition. I just gotta make sure I keep orientation of how this is in. So, this was the bottom. And these two dots are right, come. These two dots are face up. So everything is, all the parts I need, I took them out already, that's the diff. Um, most likely what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put everything back together to at least keep it all safe. Just in case if I need any other parts, I still have them cause like I said, these are some good gears. They're not damaged. The sinkers look fine. So more than likely I'm gonna possibly rebuild this one for another purpose. But for right now, the main parts I need I already took out. So I'm taking off the final drive gear, but you gotta remember these are reverse threads. So you actually have to set the gun to tighten in order to loosen these. So I'm hoping that I can just take these off, just hit it with a little hammer and it'll come off. And it's not too frozen or whatever. So I'm hoping that's the case. So I'm gonna try to see if I can start the H20 CRV transmission today, but it is dark outside. Good, it just came out with no problem, so that's a good sign. So, so this work is done. I'm just gonna tighten these back up and just throw the whole diff back into the transmission. Inside my own world of make-believe